Spain Gap project. And so it's a, it's a paper that, in, that is entitled uh, The Fall of the Elephant, Two Decades of Poverty Increase in Cote d'Ivoire, since 1988 to 2008. It is co by, in particular, Kenneth Mbeji, who is sitting here in the, with the red pullover, and with uh, other co authors that are, that are listed. So, so you, you, you probably all know that, uh, that uh, uh, very, uh, uh, very recently, in the most recent period, uh, Côte d'Ivoire has gone through uh, uh, 10 years of, uh, of uh, civil war and has just come out last year, hopefully, of uh, this, uh, this, this big uh, political uh, turmoil. So I want, I want to delve very, uh, very much into the political dimension of uh, this crisis. I'm ready to, to answer questions. I'm still ready to answer questions on this dimension because, as you will see, in pure economic terms, uh, it's not completely easy to see what were exactly the impact of this, uh, of this uh, political uh, uh, conflict. And at, but perhaps as surprising as it may seem, I will argue that the traditional engines are, are still play, was, was still played a role in, for explaining the main features of the evolution, even the recent evolution uh, during the, the civil war. So perhaps uh, uh, just because uh, there is, a, I think there is a famous sentence of Winston Churchill that says that the the the, the, the more backward you, you go in the past, the better you understand. I think it's worth uh, looking at uh, figures uh, here. Uh, I I have put the, the figures that record the the uh, the, the, the growth uh, uh, since independence, the growth rate of what well, the, the level of GDP per, per capita in constant uh, uh, US dollar terms, uh, uh, and and. Uh, uh, and, and on the green, uh, the green line is uh, 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 the sum of uh, the cash crop income at international price. So the cash crops for, for, for Côte d'Ivoire are mainly cocoa, at least uh, at, uh, since uh, the 1970s, uh, coffee and cotton. So the green line is the, uh, is the total uh, 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 income earned in, at international price uh, the, uh, for the re relevant year. So you, you see, uh, I think that this picture uh, nicely illustrates to what extent you can tell a, a cash crop story about, about Côte d'Ivoire because you have uh, since independence until the mid the mid 70s a great cocoa boom, uh, uh, both led by increase of output and also the increase in prices. Uh, and this boom uh, stops at the, at the turn of the of the of the 80s. Well, there is a small mini boom in in the 1985, and then you have uh, fall down. So we concentrate on the last period, uh, but you see from this graph that firstly that you have we can tell a question very much on the long term at least a cash crop story on what happened to, to Côte d'Ivoire and on the uh, and on the short uh, more short term uh, for the period we are analyzing that the golden age was already passed if we focus on the 1988-2008 period. Oh, I could also take a very much, much, much longer uh, uh, look backward because we also collected recently uh, uh, data from the uh, uh, military conscription to the French colonial army. And basically, this, this, uh, this, uh, so you have it over here, uh, the growth of in high stature over nine decades, starting in 1900. And this uh, picture more or less corroborates uh, the idea that the, indeed the crisis started for the gener generations that were born in the in, in the in the 1970s and you see because you see that the turn well the reversal of the great height gains that were accumulated over over 80 80 years were, were, is indeed located in the last period so uh, once again I will, uh, 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 now I will focus on the uh, Two, two, two most uh, recent uh, decades, and I will argue that after 1988, it's still cash crops that uh, over-determine the story, the story you can tell about the, the, those two last decades. Firstly, because as, uh, firstly, because as you will see, producer prices were more or less stagnant, if not declining. Uh, lastly, because due to the saturation, well, due to the fact that well, more or less there is no longer forest uh, to exploit, uh, for cocoa growing in Côte d'Ivoire, you have a, a kind of stack, you, you, uh, Côte d'Ivoire has reached a plateau 
in, uh, in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the output uh, of Cocoa. You, so you reached that start in, in 1998. There is, a, there is really a stagnation of output of, of Cocoa. And uh, also, sadly, because a great, a, a great share of fiscal in income uh, by the Ivorian government stems from uh, cocoa uh, exports and coffee exports. So that also uh, the fact that the, the uh, revenues from cocoa uh, stagnated uh, also guided the stagnation of public wages and expenditures, and sometimes even cuts in the, those expenditures. And lastly, because even uh, so you must know uh, probably that this, this civil war generated a kind of partition of, 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 of the country between the northern areas, which represent roughly 20% of the population, and the southern area, which, which uh, uh, weight 80% uh, of the population. And uh, so the coastal, uh, the, south, uh, the southern areas which produce co uh, uh, cocoa still had access to uh, the harbors to, to export the cocoa, and so, so that they no, in economic terms, they suffered much less than the land, landlocked cotton producing uh, northern areas, which, as, we, as you, you will see, uh, have, experi uh, have experienced uh, uh, an increase in poverty by 22 percentage points over the last, uh, between the, uh, since the beginning of the war, that is in, in two, of the partition, that is in, in 2002. There are, of course, secondary determinants of the, of the evolutions that we, that we find also commented at length in the paper that are foreign aid inflows that, of course, were, were very much influenced as well by the political situations with abrupt cuts of, of uh, foreign aid inflows. There is also emerging uh, rent from, from, from oil, but it starts only in the mid-2007. Uh, so, so, what, so this is just figures to illustrate what I, what I was just saying. So you see for the last period this stagnation in the output uh, of cocoa, that is the blue, blue, blue curve that is plotted here. You see also a great increase since independence of the cotton output. output uh, and uh, once again, you, you see in the last period when the partition of, of, of the north and south was in place, a big drop in cotton uh, output. Uh, the cotton production was completely disrupted by, by the war. So let me let me uh, come back to the 1988-2011 uh, period and come to the poverty figures. Uh, uh, so this is just a zoom of the, the former uh, 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 figures that I've already shown on uh, the evolution of the GDP per capita and the evolution of uh, cash crop income. So more or less this, uh, this two decades period can be divided in three sub-periods. First one, the cocoa, uh, the cocoa crisis spurred by the halving of, uh, 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 of the producer prices of, of cocoa. So you, you see this uh, first, first fall of, of GDP. Uh, and then you have this short-lived uh, uh, bounce back uh, uh, led by the CFR front devaluation and all the foreign, foreign aid inflows that, that, that were associated to this, uh, this change in the structural adjustment policies. Uh, and then you have between 2011 and 2011, uh, 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 2011 uh, civil conflicts uh, at intervals. So, producer price audition, I already commented. So, in short, so coming back to this uh, division in, in, in superior. Between 1988 to 1993, the main, uh, uh, the, the main factor that drives poverty evolution is the halving of cocoa and coffee producer prices. That was, in fact, completely guided by the fall of international prices in 1987. Uh, that had been, and the, the cut of producer price had been postponed until uh, 1990, but, uh, but it, it, it was still uh, put in place in 1990. And you have, you have also large cuts in, in public expenditures during that period. So this is the, perhaps the darkest part of structural adjustments. Then you, you have the more rosy uh, 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 part of structural adjustment between 1994 and 1998 with the devaluation uh, bounce back and inflows coming back, liberalization but without progress in rule, in rule of law and no progress in, in, uh, in competition either. Thank you. Yeah. 
Uh, and you have, and this is part, perhaps what motivates our title, is not the fact that the football team of Côte d'Ivoire is called the Elephant, it's more that at that time there was a very ambitious uh, program of investment uh, that, that, was, uh, that had been produced by the, the Ivorian government, which was called the 12 Works of the Elephant of Africa, uh, well, putting, putting uh, Hercules in, in parallel with, uh, with uh, with, uh, with, uh, with uh, uh, Côte d'Ivoire. And well, most of those projects that were planned in this, in this very ambitious invest, investment uh, uh, plan were not at all implemented in the end. Uh, so, so between 1998 and 2002, that is precisely, we, we reached a kind of disillusion with respect to the previous period with the stagnation of cocoa output that no longer grows and in heading flows. Uh, uh, decreasing. Uh, uh, I have to recall that in 1999 we had the first coup d'état, we had the first coup by the General Gay, so the civil war actually began in 1999. Okay. Uh, 2002-2008, so uh, once again civil war, partition of the country, uh, 20 percentage pay, uh, point uh, increase of, power, of poverty of the headcount head in the north. Civil conflict, so so you will find in the paper a discussion of how uh, of many many possibilities to measure the level of consumption and hence to measure also the level of poverty. I leave it to your appreciation when, when you will read the document. But more or less, the main message of this figure is uh, is to say, well, whatever, yeah, you, you could have a very great variation in the level of consumption depending on what choice you make. Uh, regarding the recall period, well, what choice uh, you make uh, in terms of uh, the list of items that you consider, but nonetheless, the profile, the time evolution of, of poverty or consumption is preserved, whatever the methodological choice that you make. So, finally, and to, 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 to conclude, uh, so uh, I, I just kept those, uh, those figures for the end. Uh, uh, so, here are the, well, the poverty figures that we, that we obtained. So fir firstly, the CDF uh, functions. So you, keep, you, you can see pretty well, I, I hope, that uh, there is clearly a before and after the cocoa crisis of the, 99, of, of the year 1990. You see in the, uh, the, that the blue curve uh, stands for the CDF, the distribution of consumption per capita for the year 1988. And, and, and the two, the three other uh, CDF curves are pretty much bunched together, in, and they even cross each other, so that uh, depending on the poverty line you choose, you will obtain uh, well, uh, 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 different conclusions regarding the evolution of poverty between 1993 and 2008. But whatever the poverty line you choose, for, 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 uh, you will obtain always a great increase in poverty between 1998. Uh, 1988 and the rest of the years. Growth in incident curve. So this is, these are the figures. If I choose the, as a poverty line, the World Bank 1.25 international dollars of, uh, uh, of 2005. So you see again uh, in terms of headcount this big increase between 1988 and 1993 in terms of poverty. So in, in, at the national level, it is more or less doubled between 20 and a little bit less than 40. 40% uh, of, uh, of poverty. Uh, and you see also in the, uh, on the red curve, uh, so of course it is the source uh, uh, part of the country that more or less that weights 80% of the population that guides the, the national poverty evolution. But what's interesting when you disaggregate uh, and, and isolate the northern region, you, s you see that during the partition, during the civil war, it is the north that suffered the most and, and, the most and experienced this 20, 22% uh, uh, increase. Uh, so despite the crisis, uh, we observe accumulation of durable goods, in particular mobile phones, but not only, whose relative prices decrease. So, and also more optimistically, uh, after a drop in, in, in the, in the, during the cocoa crisis, primary school en en enrollment recovered, but not to 1988 levels. Uh, have I got one minute for? Uh, exploring a few issues ahead. So where do we stand now in Côte d'Ivoire? Uh, uh, so uh, uh, Côte d'Ivoire is still a very, very divided. Instead of recent attempts of reconciliation, uh, 
uh, uh, Cote d'Ivoire is a very divided country. And, and it was shown uh, at the 2010 elections that were very conflictual between, between the uh, present uh, President Alassane Ouattara and the former one, uh, Laurent, Laurent, Laurent Gbagbo. And what's, what's so here I delve a little bit into the political dimension of, the, of those issues. What's very interesting is that uh, what, what has come back uh, with those elections is a North center source axis that, was, that had broken down and that had led to this political uh, conflict. And, and what's interesting is that, so you, you see, you have seen the figures for the North uh, uh, and the South uh, uh, compared. Now, uh, uh, Alessandro Matera, who is a northerner, uh, who is a northerner, has built again the traditional Ufuetian alliance between the Bangde and the northerners, and, uh, and we'll, see, we'll see what, what it gives. On the economic side, Mm. We can, uh, uh, so perhaps uh, just uh, uh, continuing on this, uh, the, the, the Malthusian problem that, that uh, uh, Michel, Michel already raised, uh, we can ask the two following questions. Will new natural resources, rents like oil uh, uh, or minerals, allow going back to the old days political economic equilibrium that prevailed during the golden age of the Oufouet Boigny presidency? And I refer you to, to a recent paper of Catherine Boone, Boone, who strongly argues that it is the breaking down of this political equilibrium uh, uh, spurred by structural adjustment policies that, 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 uh, that uh, really is really re responsible for all the crises uh, on the political uh, side that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that Cote d'Ivoire has experienced. And or will things change? That is, will Malthusian constraint come to buy? Uh, we, uh, as I already argued, there is, well, forest has come to an end. More or less, the Cotoua uh, frontier has reached the, front, uh, the border with Guinea, and you, there is no longer, uh, no longer any forest to exploit to, 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 to expand Cotoua production. So perhaps there is a, a need for intensification there. Thank you.